Hey there everyone, welcome to Solstice Classes. I am Radhima and here we are going to discuss uh, the mathematical economics question from GATE Economics 2023. So the question number 27 directly from the question paper in front of you reads, an individual is endowed with income of Rs. 142 and has the utility function ux1, x2 is equal to x2 into x1 plus 1 and x1 and x2 both are uh, positive or equal to 0. The unit price of x1 is p2 and the unit price of x2 is 3. Then we have to find out the utility maximizing bundle that is x1, x2. So what do we mean by utility maximizing bundle for that let us uh, revise our theory here. So if this is our x bundle, I mean x commodity and y commodity and we have our budget line. The slope of the budget line we know is minus px by py. Now with this restriction given that is our income or the budget, what is the amount of x and y an individual can purchase and consume to maximize his or her utility? So we know that we have possible ICs, this is suppose I0, then we have I1 and we have I2. Now I2 here is the uh, most, you know it is outwards right, towards the right. So upper is the indifference curve, higher is the utility. So here I2 represents higher utility but I cannot be on I2 because this is beyond my uh, feasibility right because I cannot buy I cannot purchase I need more income in order to achieve I2 utility so this is cancelled so now with the given income either I can be at this point at this point or at this point now if I purchase at this point then of course I'm spending all my income that is 142 rupees but my utility is the lowest Similarly, if I am at this point, then again I am spending 142 rupees, but my utility is lowest. But what if I select this point, right? This point, say E. Here, I am spending 142 rupees in order to buy X and Y, but my utility is higher than I1. That means the maximum possible utility attained with 142 rupees at point E. That means this is the X star and this is the Y star. So according to the question, given 142 rupees and the unit price as 2 and 3, how much should as a consumer, as an individual, should buy X star and Y star because this is the utility maximizing bundle that is X star comma Y star. So equilibrium condition that is consumer's equilibrium point, right? Consumer's equilibrium implies uh, mux by muy is equals to px by py right this is the condition for consumers equilibrium say at e so in order to find out x star and y star i am going to use this condition so from the question let us write down what all we have so we have our utility function that is u of x1 comma x2 is equals to x2 into x1 plus 1 um, we have m that is income is equals to 142 price of x is equals to 2 and price okay x1 x2 so let me denote it with p1 so p1 x1 is 2 and price of x2 that is p2 is equals to 3 that means our budget line we know that budget line m is equals to x into p1 plus x1 into p1 into x2 into p2 this is our budget line so according to the information given in the question, our budget line is 142 is equals to um, 2 into two into x1 price is 2 plus price is 3. So 3 into x2. So this is our budget line here. Okay. So from here, from this budget line, we know that uh, from this budget line, we know that the ratio of price that is px by py that is the absolute slope of the budget line will be 2 by 3 so this we have got this value right now we have to solve this from the utility function right so ux is equals to that is i am talking about mux okay mux is equals to delta u by delta x so delta u by delta x is your um uh, what is it so for ease you can do this one this way right so, with respect to x1 here, right, mu x1. So, uh, with respect to x1, if we differentiate here, we get x1 plus 
one um sorry here we are differentiating with respect to x1 so we here we'll get just x2 so mu x1 is equals to x2 and mu x2 will be how much delta u by delta x2 right so that is is equals to um as we have x1 x2 plus x2 so here uh, if we de de take derivative with respect to x2 so we have x1 plus 1 right so this is mu x2 so now equilibrium condition let us put it in the equilibrium condition in equilibrium as we know mu x1 by mu x2 is equals to p1 by p2 so uh, let us put the values that is um, mu x1 is x2 by mu x2 is x1 plus 1 is equals to p1 is 2 and p2 is 3 okay now from here we have 3x2 is equals to 2x1 plus 2 correct or x2 is equals to 2 by 3 into x1 plus 1 so this is one condition we have got that is the relation between x2 and x1 now we are going to use this and we are going to put this value in our budget line and find out the value of x1 and x2. So we know that our budget line is, we have written above, again let us write it. So budget line is 142 that is income is equals to 2 into x1 plus 3 into x2. Now in place of this x2, I am going to put this value, right? So the whole equation will be in transformed in x1 and we can easily calculate the value of x1 so 142 is equals to 2x1 plus 3 into 2 by 3 into x1 plus 1 now see 3 3 gets cancelled so we have 142 is equals to 2x1 plus 2x1 plus 2 so that is we have 140 is equals to 4x1 and x1 is equals to 140 by 4 so that is uh, 4 3s are 12 and 4 5s are 20. That means x1 star. That means the utility maximizing level of x1 needed to be consumed to maximize the utility is 35. So by putting this value of x1 in the above expression, that is this one. So we can derive x2 star from here, right? If I put x1 star here. So um, x2 star is equals to 2 by 3. Therefore, x2 star is equals to 2 by 3 um, into x1 star plus 1, that is 2 by 3, 35 plus 1 is equals to 2 by 3 into 36, the 1s are 3, 3 12s are 36, so that is 24. So, x2 star is equals to 24. So, the bundle, so the profit maximizing bundle is 35, 24 and that is our answer.